Let me tell you how our giving goes. We're, we're uh, voting on this budget uh, today. It's $4.8 million. It comes out of a lot of cuts and consolidation, and we're still looking at ways to do ministry more efficiently. But let me tell you how our 4.3, if we have a great week this week in terms of giving, uh, we'll make our budget of $4.3 million. It's going to have to be a great week, but I think we can do it. But of that $4.3 million, let me tell you how it comes in. 48% of our giving comes from households that give less than, less than $250 a year. $250 a year, okay? So 48% of the $3.2 million comes from gifts on an annual basis. It's almost half of less. You get that? Is that startling? Okay. Out of that, considering, you know, it's up to $250,000, 25% of our members give nothing, zero, goose egg. So that's, you know, that's a lot. 48% of our giving is from $250 or less a year, less than $250. 34% of our giving comes from $250 to $2,000 a year. 13% of our giving comes from $2,001 to $7,000 per year. 4% of our giving comes from $7,000 to $15,000 a year. And only 1% of our giving comes from over $15,000 a year. So we've always said this is great. Let me tell you this. This is as good as it's ever been in 15 years of ministry at River Point. This is good. <laughs> this is exciting. We have more people giving to this mission than we've ever had in the history of this church. But we've always lagged behind because our mission is for those, for those far from God. And so we recognize it takes a long time of real intense growth, maturity, for people to surrender their pocketbook to the Lord and to start giving. It takes a long time. So we've always depended on the mature Christians in our congregation that says, I want to support this outreach. I understand this principle. And so we've always been, we've always drug behind. The knee, every person that walks through here uh, is an investment of God's money into eternity into their lives. And we understand that. That's why this is so exciting to me. It means our per capita giving means if you take our income divided by our attendance is $1,260 a year. That is so far below the average of, of churches and our demographic. And the reason why I hope is true is because we reach so many new people. But this budget that we've got now, after 15 years of um, ministry, this is a budget that says we've got to step forward. We have to have more people expressing their faith in Christ by their giving. If our per capita giving goes from $1,260 to $1,500, our budget is nearly $6 million. You know what we could do with that kind of money for the kingdom of God in our community and in people's lives? It would be amazing what we could do. So we're only talking about $250 more a year per attendee. So we're not talking about strides, but we have to take steps forward. That's why, here's the thing. I just don't want to play church. Either this thing's making a difference in your life, and you really trust God more than you did last year, or you don't. Just be honest. But don't give lift service to this idea of, man, my hope is in Christ. And you don't give. It just doesn't work that way. It's not for real. It's some sort of fantasy where you get to make the rules and you're at the center of the story and you get to decide what's spiritually valuable or not. And Jesus didn't let us off the hook with that abstract thinking. He said, look, you'll, you'll know them by their fruit. Are they givers? So the challenge is be a giver. I mean, everybody comes into these church, church services and say, well, I'm so glad my brother was here. I'm so glad my neighbor was here. I'm so, we, we, I don't know why, but I preach sermons that people have a hard time understanding. Is he talking to me? I'm talking to you. If you're a follower of Christ, God's talking to you. Let go of your money. Give that crap away. That's not in the Bible. Give it away. It'll do you some good. It's therapeutic. 
cry as it walks out the door. We can't do it. And see if it doesn't change. And here's the challenge. You start doing that April 1st and do it for a year. And if it doesn't make your life better and your faith stronger and your family richer, stop doing it. But do it for this year. It's a big year for us, okay? (laughs) If you could. Hey, I've been doing this for 25 years. I'm going to tell you something. This ain't optional. Man, if I hang on to my money, I'll start thinking I'm God. That's the way it works. I don't own anything. I just manage it. And Job says, the Lord gives and the Lord takes away. Blessed be the name of the Lord.